<laughs> so hi, my name is Katie Driver and I'm a senior at Stout. Um, I'm an interior design major and a business minor. I got involved with the Dunn County Historical Society because of Joan Navarre's um, fiction into film class. So a part of the um, Menominee Drive-In Theater that once stood in Wakanda Park had a ticket booth, a concession stand, playground, um, exterior sign, things that made it iconic to Menominee. Um, we have actually recreated some of the elements here. Um, when you walk in you'll actually see a ticket booth right away. Um, you'll be greeted outside by an exterior sign as well. And then we have a really cool digital screen, something that a UW Stout student um, actually created which it, we're really excited about. So I am actually a design student um, on campus, but when I was asked to do this, I knew it'd be a lot of work. And so what I wanted to do was bring in other students. And one of the first students I asked was my roommate and longtime best friend, Sarah Mullaney. She and I are actually on the Habitat board. And so when I brought her onto the design team, I also brought another friend of mine onto the design team as well. And we actually um, created a team of three. Kirsten Keen joined us as well. So it was us three. We all also brought in three construction students and um, those three students are all a part of Habitat for Humanity. <laughs> um, it's been a blast working on this project and um, one of the things that I really like is doing this sort of detail kind of work. Um, for my art classes a lot of times it's more stressful to do my projects and so this is fun and it's um, a way that I can actually put my talents to use and then see what some of my designs come to life as well. Okay, so what you're looking at right now is the memory area. Um, one thing about the Menominee Theater, Drive-In Theater, is actually we don't have one um, photograph at all. N not at all. We can't find one. What we do have is testimonies. Um, people telling us what it was like to be at the theater. And so when we designed the theater, we based it off of 1950s theaters that we've seen through research. We did a lot of research of all of the um, drive-ins that we could find on the internet and through books. Um, but what you're seeing behind me is the memory area. And we want to encourage uh, community members who have been to the, th or who went to the theater back when it was um, available, which was 1953 through 1985, uh, they can come in and actually tell us their stories. Um, so you can see some of the movies that once played, some of the ticket prices, which is totally different than what it is today, and then some of the iconic um, dancing hot dogs and chicks as well. And so we've been building this um, exhibit design for the last um, six weeks, I believe. So it's been a long time coming and we're really excited about this.